we're working on this set of videos about database queries. This little set of three videos will be about more mathematical style queries. This one is comparison operator queries. Equal, not equal, less than, and greater than. Do you remember those from math class? Been a long time, hasn't it? So we have, you know, the equal sign. Uh, you might be familiar with exclamation mark equals for not equals, or you might not know that. But in Access, we'll use the less than, greater than symbol to indicate not equals. And then we could have less than or less than or equal to. And less than can also be used for before. I'll show you an example of that. And the greater than can also be used for after in time. We'll use the same database, and we're going to focus mostly on that amount paid column. So how much did your client buy so far? Some of them have bought nothing, and some of them have bought some. We'll do not equals and equals and not equals first. So here in the query, I'm, I'm not going to access this time. I just put SNPs here. So let's say the amount paid is zero. They haven't bought anything yet. And when we run the query, sure enough, there are four clients that haven't bought anything yet. So their amount paid is zero. If we ran the same thing and said not equal zero, that would mean who actually bought something. And we would have our result of three clients who have bought something. Let's do a less than or before query. So we'll say, <clears throat> who has bought less than $25,000 worth? And so we have the four zeros we had before, plus the person who bought $21,000 worth. And we could say, I, I invented an example for time, OK, the, in this same database. I said the date they affiliated with our company. You see the date affiliated? So I said, show me people whose date affiliated is before, the less than means before, before January 1, 2010. You type it like that. And then when you click anywhere else, the computer will switch it and put pound signs around the date. Or you can type it that way, but you don't have to. And the result will show us that there were two companies that affiliated with us before January 1, 2010. And then we'll do one more for greater than or after. And we'll do this the same. Who of our clients has bought more than $25,000 worth of stuff? And there were two clients who have purchased that. Medical equipment, of course. And then on that date affiliated side, we'll use the, well, let me zoom back in. We'll use the greater than sign and say, who affiliated with us after January 1st, 2010? And there would be five of them that were after that date. And again, the computer will put the pound signs around the date for you, or you can type them yourself if you want. But that wasn't so bad, was it? Oh, we're getting the hang of this. You can keep going on now with the next video.